Assalamu alaikum. Hello, kids. Did you enjoy the last episode? Insha'Allah, today I am going to tell you the story of how Prophet Musa alayhi salam returned to Egypt to save his people. Now, listen carefully. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Many years had passed by now. Prophet Musa alayhi salam lived a life of content, and he had forgotten all his troubles in Egypt. He worked hard taking care of the animals in the farm. One day, the Prophet decided to go back to Egypt. He camped near Mount Sinai on his way back. It was really cold, so he decided to find some wood for making a fire. It was then that he saw a fire on top of the mountain. As he approached the fire, he noticed a strange thing. The fire was burning from a bush and didn't burn the bush up. It just stayed there, burning. It was then that he heard a voice. O oh Musa, I am your Lord. The Prophet was surprised to hear that. You must take off your shoes in my presence. The Prophet then removed his shoes and walked toward the bush. God told him that he was to be a Prophet. His mission was to go to the Pharaoh of Egypt and tell him about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet was confused. How was he going to convince the Pharaoh? Then Allah said, What is that in your right hand, O Musa? It is my staff, he replied. Throw it on the ground. The Prophet did as God asked, and as soon as the staff hit the ground, it turned into a snake. Then God asked the Prophet to pick it up. When the Prophet touched the snake, it turned back into his staff again. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed him a few other miracles and asked him to head to Egypt. God also told him to take his brother Harun along with him. Prophet Musa alayhi salam took his brother Harun alayhi salam and went to meet the Pharaoh at the palace. O oh Pharaoh! I am the messenger of the one true God. Let the Israelites go with me. When the Pharaoh heard this, he started laughing. The Prophet went on to warn the Pharaoh of all the calamities that would occur if he did not follow the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the Pharaoh refused to listen because he thought himself to be God. The Pharaoh asked Musa to show a sign from his God. The Prophet threw down his staff, and it quickly turned into a snake. Everyone at the palace, including the Pharaoh, were stunned for a second. But the Pharaoh tried hard not to show it. Ha! said the Pharaoh in a prideful tone. I have sorcerers who can match your magic. The Pharaoh sent his messengers all over the land of Egypt to bring the best sorcerers available. They were promised a huge reward if they could outmatch the Prophet. The sorcerers readily agreed and they all left for the palace. On the day of the contest, the Pharaoh's court was filled with many people. Everyone in the room sided with the Pharaoh and left the Prophet all alone. But the Prophet had his Lord with him. One by one, the sorcerers assembled their ropes and rods and threw them to the floor. The magicians and sorcerers were able to transform their ropes and rods into snakes and wiggly things. It was now the Prophet's turn. When the staff fell to the ground, 
it turned into a giant snake. Then, to everyone's shock, it started swallowing other snakes on the floor. After the last sorcerer's rope had been swallowed, the prophet grabbed the snake, and it became his staff once again. Everyone present at the palace were shocked, and they kept staring at the prophet. Everyone, including the sorcerers present, realized that the prophet was not a magician or sorcerer. They knew that his power came from something greater than anything human. The sorcerers fell on their knees to beg for forgiveness. The pharaoh was furious when he saw this. How can you believe in any other god other than me? If you don't get up right now, then I'll have your arms and legs cut off, and you will be crucified. The sorcerers said, Do what you will, but we fear the punishment of Allah much more than yours. The pharaoh now realized that he had a problem. The prophet once again demanded that the Israelites go with him out of Egypt. But the pharaoh would still not allow it. Then Allah brought down the punishments one by one. At first, there was a severe drought that stopped the crops from growing. All the cattle died of thirst. The pharaoh called the prophet and promised to release the Israelites to leave with him if he could make the drought stop. The prophet prayed to God to remove the drought, and it soon started raining. But as soon as the drought was gone, the pharaoh broke his promise. Many punishments came on Egypt, and during each calamity, the pharaoh would make a promise to the prophet. But after the calamity had passed, he would go back on his word. There were plagues. There was an attack of lice. Then came an attack of locusts. And after that, there were frogs everywhere. Each of them more horrible than the last. Even the waters of the Nile River turned into blood. But the Pharaoh still refused to let the Israelites leave. Finally, God told the prophet to take the people out of Egypt during the night. Heeding God's word, Prophet Musa السلام, took the Israelites and left Egypt. At first, no one realized that the Israelites were gone. But soon, the news spread and Pharaoh came to know about this. The Pharaoh was now very angry. So he ordered all his forces to go and catch them before they went far. He joined them and they all went searching for the Prophet. The Prophet had taken his followers as far as the Red Sea by now. When he looked back, he could see the Pharaoh and his army approaching them. It was then that Allah commanded him to strike the water with his staff. The Prophet obeyed and struck the water. Everyone was shocked when they saw what happened. The Red Sea miraculously parted and left a straight and narrow path. The Prophet asked his people to walk through the path and cross the Red Sea. He guided them through the path and everyone reached the opposite shore safely. The Pharaoh was amazed at what was going on. But soon his ego overtook him. Now we have got them, he shouted to his soldiers and ordered them to take the narrow path to cross the Red Sea. The prophet, who was standing at the opposite shore, could see the Pharaoh and his army fast approaching. All of a sudden, the mountains of water on each side of the narrow path came crashing down. The soldiers cried out. 
but the voices were cut off by the splash of water. The prophet and his people were safe now. They were now headed to their promised land. Did you enjoy the video, kids? Insha'Allah, in the next episode, I will tell you the story of how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested the Prophet and his people. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and notification icon to keep updated on all our videos. Please share our videos with your friends and family as well. That's all for today. Goodbye!